Okay, so what we got to do is um, kind of put this uh, piece of code or this application, whatever you have, into a container. Because um, again, Kubernetes is a container orchestration uh, fleet of tools or platform or whatever. Um, if you've never been in a container before, it's not that scary. Um, containers actually changed my life. Uh, you no longer have to like edit files on a server somewhere. You just make a container and uh, name it and uh, it's wonderful. Uh, we'll say name it and then you upload it to some sort of registry and then you deploy it. Um, and it's pretty great because you can track versions and, and uh, up, update the container that's running in production or downgrade or, or whatever you need to do. Um, and that same container that's running on your local machine is also running in uh, the cluster. So it's really easy to reason about what's a prod and what's not. Um, okay, so to make a container, um, we're going to make a Docker container. You need a Docker file. And uh, naming is important here. Um, capital D, lowercase f, Dockerfile, one word, no extension. So there we go, we got Dockerfile. And um, what Dockerfiles are, it's just uh, some commands to, to set up um, your container. So you can kind of think of this like a VM, but not really. Um, but if you've ever used uh, kind of like a VM orchestration or, or build tools where you say like install this, then install this, then install this, now you have a new VM. That's kind of what we're doing. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to inherit from an image, uh, which is kind of odd, um, but I need a, a base image that I'm going to run, whether it's like Linux or Windows or something else, um, Nginx, whatever you need to do. Uh, so I need Node in my image. That's all I need um, to run this application. So I'm going to go out to Docker Hub. I think it's actually hub.docker.com. And this is kind of where you can search for your base images. Um, whatever you need um, to run your app, um, if you, if you need Java or whatever, you get the, the Java image. Um, there's lots to choose from. It's, sometimes it's hard to figure out which one that you really need. Um, it's kind of like GitHub. Uh, you want to package, so you search around for a while. So anyway, I'm going to type in node, and this node official sounds great. And now I get to pick my version. Uh, there's a lot of versions here. Um, 8.5 looks great. Um, and then what I want is the slim version. Um, why I want the slim version is I don't need a bunch of stuff. I want my container to be small. Um, you can read about why I want the, well, I'll, I'll explain it. So uh, the node images have, shoot. The node images have a lot of different um, kinds. So you, you pick a version, which I want 8.5, it's the newest, whatever, I can use it, it's fine. And then there's different types, uh, the Alpine, the on build, and the slim. And the slim doesn't contain any extra things. I don't need any extra things. I just want to run this server. Um, so I'm going to say I want the slim version. So what I'm going to say is uh, from, and then this version here, 8.5-slim. So sorry, um, I have to say node, because that's, that's the image, node. Um, and then I say 8.5-slim. And I just kind of want to double check there. 8.5 slim. Great. Um, so that's what I'll do. Uh, this container will be based on this node image. And then what I need to do is jam my files into this, um, this container. So uh, I have files on my local machine. So I want to put them in, I don't know, somewhere on this container, this machine. Um, I know this thing uh, is based on Linux. Um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of make a folder. Uh, so I'm going to run a command. I'm actually going to run the make dir command. Um, I've done this before, uh, all of you probably. And um, I'm just going to make like a home dev. This is where I usually put my files. So this is going to make it on um, this node uh, container. And then I want to just drop my files on there. So I'm going to say uh, copy everything here into home dev. Uh, so what does this mean? I'm saying copy dot. Well, copy dot is all of these files here. So I'm going to take the server and the package, and it's kind of funny, the Docker file. And I'm, it might skip that. I'm not really sure. And then all the node modules, um, and it's going to drop it in this container. Um, and then the last thing I want to do is um, run my app. So I'm going to run this command, which is node um, server, because that's what I type on the command line to make my thingy go, right? Um, so now, if I run my node app in this container locally, um, I should see uh, the same thing, like hello Jeff's whatever, uh, Jeff's server. So let's do that now. 